So good evening everyone and welcome to something I was not planning on doing. Earlier today I started my second run ever of Elden Ring. I'm calling it the Return to Elden Ring, the Glintstone Sorcerer run. Okay? And I'm enjoying it so far. It's a good time. The thing is, we basically, we're not going to do this tonight. I did, I did a whole hour of it earlier and we were good. But here's what happened. My capture software forced an update on me that I did not want to do. And when it forced an update... All my settings reset, so I had to waste like an hour here. Oh, I just found a talisman, my first talisman, right? My first ever talisman, correct? Are we good, by the way? Everything's good, no frame drops? I'm not seeing any frame drops. Everything looks good to me. Everything looks smooth to me. Anyway, um, yeah, OBS, boost lightning and damage negation. Let's equip that. It's my only one that I have. Um, yeah, basically what happened earlier today was I, well, not today, but OBS forced an update that I didn't want. And when it forced the update, um, all my settings reset and it took me about an hour to get everything back to normal. So now I couldn't do my normal night stream. So I decided why not just do another hour of Elden Ring? And what we're doing now, we're splitting the load on my computer. My GPU or graphics card is streaming for you guys watching live on YouTube while my CPU or processor is capturing right now um for the computer you know the offline which you guys are going to watch on demand on youtube later so i would love everyone's feedback on this let me know how the stream is looking and let me know how the on demand video looks because this is different than what i was using earlier today we may have smoothness and less frame drops now because i'm splitting the load on my computer okay so there you go so let's play, and we'll, we'll figure this out. So I, I think we're not going to do this yet. This is where you go once you have the uh, the rune, the great rune off of Godric, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to go the other way. All right, let's head back. And you guys let me know what, how it looks tonight. I'm very curious what everyone says. I want to hear on demand, you know, live, what everyone thinks. So we had just run through the main doors of the castle. We had gotten over here to our point of grace. And now we're going to head deeper into the castle. There's a giant enemy we have to kill out here, though. These guys are not enemies, thankfully. But there is a big-ass enemy right over here we need to kill. There's a lip sync issue? It says giant enemy crab. Really? Because we were doing this earlier, there was no issue with, with sync at all. Is there an audio issue? No. Now people say no, there isn't. Everyone is confused. No, it looks great. There's no lip sync on my end. Let's fight this creature. Quite frisky. We won't stop doing that. What do I try the, the other spell? Try the other spell, Rock Slam. That fucking worked. You can't really dodge that one. Is this not? Hold on a second here. Is this actually not the guy from later in the game? Because he has the blade on his arm and everything. Is this not that creature from later in the game? Only for some reason he's way early on. He dodged that completely, huh? You're an annoying bastard. I need like one more hit. Got him! Somber Smithing Stone level 1 and Beast Blood. It is! It's one of the beasts. It's one of the guys that turn into a beast, right? Absolutely it is. 
So you fight them way early in the game. That's before we even know the lore of those guys. Remember, one of them is one of the final bosses of the game. <laughs> in the floating city. Dude, that's crazy that you fight one this early, you don't even realize it. Because <sighs> now we have the somber smithing stone. Can't we level up my, uh, my staff now? I think so, right? How do we... Okay, what's the shortcut to go to the round table? Does anyone remember the button for this, the shortcut? Thank you very much, uh, Tyler. He says, no matter how many trolls, we love you. Thank you. And Darren says, you killed him so easy. You're talking about the endgame beast man boss, right? I forgot his name already. <clears throat> what's the button to go to round table? I already forgot. Because I, I was originally doing this, but isn't there a way to do it fast? Circle? No, it's not. You, you, you liar. How dare you, giant enemy crab. Circle is not round table. That's what it does. It does that. Yeah, we're doing Elden Ring for an hour tonight. How do I get to round table, guys? I need your help. What's the shortcut to go to round table? I know there's a button for it. It's not triangle. Triangle goes to other sites of grace. See that? I mean, I could do it from here. I thought there was a button to just go there. I think I can level up my staff because I now have a somber smithing stone. <clears throat> oh, look who's here. Oh, Our buddy for a whole quest arrived. line later. Welcome <clears throat> to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations. The strength granted us... I probably will never use these, right? Not with my build. Explore the secrets of the golden I don't think so. So that one day, if a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord... By the way, guys, please support the stream in any way. If you could like it, I would really appreciate that tonight. I know this is an impromptu stream out of nowhere. Tell him, yes, I do see the grace, because I do. Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? So you could study incantations, but I'm never going to use these. These use faith, and I'm not using faith. I'm using an int build. So... May the golden order shine Thank you for liking the stream, anyone who did. Alright, let me see now if I can upgrade this, uh... Oh, wrong way. If I can upgrade this staff. Meteoric staff. Is that what it's called? What's up, Yoshino Lover? Good evening. Well, I took you no man today. Out your arm. No, he won't do it. I told you guys. How do I... The key doesn't upgrade the staff, huh? Oh, that's right. I need the gunner glasses. My bad. He doesn't upgrade the staff. Maybe we need another blacksmith because it's, just, it's actually a high-end uh, weapon. So I guess I can't do it yet. And I'm not going to upgrade any of this shit. Right? This would be a waste. So I guess we don't do it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, back to where we were. This is a fresh game, Yoshino. We started over completely from scratch. Yeah. Completely from scratch. So again, this is a new setup, guys. I'm splitting the load between my CPU and my GPU. Streaming is GPU. On-demand video on YouTube is CPU. Please give me feedback on what you think. This will help determine how I do things in the future. Darth Gullbox thing says it is probably the blacksmith later on. All right. So now this guy's dead. He doesn't come back, right? Nope, he's dead. Okay. So that was pretty crazy. It wasn't the beast people. You fight one so early on, not realizing they're part of the story later on, right? When you teleport, you press Y and X on the map. There's no Y and X. But I think you're saying Triangle Square. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Disco, for Triangle Square. All right. So what we're doing now is we're heading further into the castle, which would be to the right. I did not I did not enter the castle this way when I played the game the first time. I went the side way. So I actually have no idea what's coming. I know there's giants and shit coming up, I think. I'm pretty certain. But what I really like about this, you can change direction of the spell at like the last minute. Because I'm aiming for one guy, but as I was about to fire, I used the thumbstick, and he switched to the other guy, and he was able to hit the other guy instead. So that's really useful, man. 
Wait a minute, I should level up. I have 3,600 freaking stuff. I could level a couple times. What am I doing? Oh, I don't know that. That one California New Yorker says, did the game's performance even uh, improve at all since launch? I don't know if they patched it and made it run better. That's a good question, I guess. I have no idea. <clears throat> Would you stop hip hip harangue and sit at that side of grace? <laughs> he's so excited that he's using magic. He's so excited. All right. We got one level to put in. Uh, I say just go for int again. Keep going with int, right? Okay. Hip hip hooray. Okay. I'm gonna kill those guys again. Changes looks awesome. Does it? Looks good for you guys on stream. Nice and smooth 60 frames, I hope. And again, on demand, I hope it does too. This is a, a good... Right now, I'm only using 40% of my CPU on my computer. Only 40%. That's damn good. Rock Sling is a great spell. Will Rock Sling hit more than one? Let's test it. Eh. This is certainly a good build for grinding, right? Okay, fuck that. So I think this is where shit, shit like picks up. I think there's a giant and all kinds of stuff up here. And that's why you're not supposed to do it this way, but fuck them, I'm doing it anyway. Oh, come on. Suck it. Nice. So good. Oh, really? Halith says Roxlin can hit multiple things because it hits anything in its past, so it can hit multiple enemies. Oh, I knew it. What the? Behind me, behind me. Okay, I see them, I see them. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> It was behind me. Well, shit! Funny, I'm watching the Harry Potter movies with Cat right now, and now I've got a magic build in Elden Ring. What an appropriate time. I forgot to split the load. Sorry about that, everyone. I should have split the load harder. Well, it's a good spell, but man, it uses way more MP, and that's a problem, right? That is a problem. Exile armor. Hello, King Michael. Good evening. So when can that turret actually see me? It's up there, but when can it see me? That's... No, where is it? It's up there somewhere. Let's kill this guy, these guys first. What hit me? I, I, oh, is, that, is it there? I'm trying to find the right angle here. Where the fuck is it? He hit me? No, and I used the wrong flask. Oh, shit. That's going to be a major problem. Flask management is going to be a problem for me. <laughs> flask management. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I, I gotta chug this flask. No, this flask. No, wrong flask. You're bumbling flasks around. Imagine there's a wizard. He's a powerful wizard, but he's drinking flasks. He's bumbling and juggling them and spilling them everywhere as he's trying to fight. That's pretty much me right now. <laughs> pretty much me. I gotta get used to this gameplay. I'm just not used to it yet. I'll get the hang of it. Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to hit him. But I need to recharge my magic by drinking this flask. Oh, the wrong flask. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Okay. King Michael says he's seen the new Super Mario movie. He really likes it. I'm glad to hear that. Gut says, how long will the second playthrough go on this time? I have no idea. We're going to find out, man. Already we're in the castle. I mean, we're only three hours in, so I guess that's a good sign, right? We're skipping a ton. We are going to skip a ton of content. I know we are. Uh, I got a $5 tip from Mishael. This is all day Elden Ring. Thank you, Mishael, for the $5 tip. Again, guys, if you're enjoying tonight's stream, many ways you can support it, including just simply giving it a like here on YouTube. That would help a ton for engagement purposes. But outside of that, um, many other ways to support the stream. Super chats, memberships, gifted memberships, or tips. Everything is appreciated. Thank you, guys. Sorry for the loss of an hour of gameplay earlier, but uh, at least we're doing something tonight, right? Where is this turret? Is it always the turret in front of me that's been hitting me? I guess it is. I guess what happens is those arrows explode after the fact. They do. See that? Wait, what? No, there is a turret here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There is a turret there. Okay. It's at a weird angle that I can't see. Shit, this is tough. was nothing like this. I was just rushing and bullying everyone. See? And now I can't bully anyone because I'm such a puss. So everything is so much harder. And I have no healing. The only healing I have is my fucking... <laughs> my wondrous physic flask. Beagle Boy Gaming did a super chat and he says, Rock Slinger will be useful against characters like Renala who resists magic. Exactly. That's what people told me earlier. They said you absolutely need to have that spell. Because that's going to help tremendously against characters that don't take a lot of magic damage. So that's a good thing that I found it early on, right next to this uh, staff over in Kaylee. <clears throat> okay. Now, if I remember correctly, if I run through this courtyard, is there not a save point to the left? I think there is. I'm almost... Oh, shit. It could be over there. Oh, you fucker! Are you serious? It's one way or the other. Fuck. Ready? It's right in here, I think. No! Maybe? I swear it's in here. I swear there's a save point in here. Yes! I remembered it! Yes! Good shit. Alright. Phew! <laughs> I remember. See? This is the advantage of having played it before. 
I'm remembering things from the first run, and I watched one or two other people play this game too, so I'm actually remembering a lot of shit. Jam. Sarah says you seem more relaxed tonight. This is more enjoyable to watch than earlier. Well, people don't seem to be pissy tonight. People seem to actually be happy that I'm playing this randomly, and I'm happy that you're happy, so there you go. Uh, I need like 400. Which one of these is 400? Does it say, uh, switch display? How do you see the description? There you go. Perfect. Okay, now I think we can level. Uh, I'm one rune short! <laughs> I'm one singular rune short. Wow. Someone could have farted in my direction. I would have absorbed a rune. All right. Uh, holy. I'm thinking vigor because I need more health. My health is so low. We're just going to put it into vigor. Okay. All right. Now, we go back down and fight the grafted guy, which we probably want to do. I don't recall which way to go from here. I think going out this way might be the right way to make progress. I think it is, actually. I think you're supposed to go out here and go that way. And I think that takes you further into the castle. I think. I'm not sure. It's been a while. There's the birds. And I can hit them with magic, so that'll be much easier. But I think I want to go fight the grafted guy first. We'll go back down and fight him. Uh, how was food? Well, we didn't have any food left over, so it was either going to be frozen or grab something, and we didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I just drove to the local Mexican place down the street, and we got a burrito, and it was pretty good. It was a chicken burrito with a bunch of stuff in it. Quite good. So that's what we had for dinner. Nothing too crazy, but, uh, pretty good. So, let's fight this crafted dude. I think we could just snipe him, right? I don't think he can do shit about it. If we snipe him. He can't do anything. He just stands there. He takes it in the face. Look. He can do anything. He's like, oh well. I give, I, I give up to my fate. I'm dead. Wow, you want to talk about easy mode? Dude, magic is easy mode in this game. Are you shitting me? He doesn't even do anything. He just fucking stood there and took it on the chin. Right? Who could that be? We know who that is. That's end, Mr. Endgame boss right there. But you, know who he, you don't know who he is at the beginning. Highland Axe. So, I'm trying to remember, is there anything really worth exploring or investigating or getting in the castle's first floor? Or should we just go right back up to where we were and continue there? I don't really remember what's around here. Or if there's anything worth it. Especially for my build, I have no clue. Double kill. Beautiful double kill. Exalted flesh. Too bad there's no Estes suit. I want some Estes suit. They don't give it. They don't serve it here. This, their uh, their menu is quite inferior. Hello. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Sucker. Very nice. Better get my magic ready here. Ragdoll. Problem is now I have no magic left. 
So I might have to uh, reallocate my flasks at this point. Because it seems like it's going to be a problem. I'm not going to have enough flasks for magic use. Of course it doesn't open from this side. Why would it? Right? Charge the spell instead of shooting little ones. I tried. It didn't do anything. I held the button and it just did the same spell. Someone had said earlier if you hold the spell button down it does more damage. It doesn't seem to do it for me. There's another guy in here, I think. No? I thought there was another guy in here. I guess not. Yeah, I was holding it. It didn't do anything. I don't know. I got a Mimic's Veil. That's the thing that lets you blend into the environment. But not really. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really work. So, over there is where you can get the quest item for the girl, I believe. Right? higher up. By the way, stream still looks good, everyone. Are you guys noticing any choppiness, frame drops, issues with audio, or is it good? Because this is all my GPU doing this tonight. First time I've ever done this. So. Shit. Good night, Kagome. Looks great. Nothing wrong. This is good news. I really hope that the on-demand video is going to look good. Yeah, see, that's where you get the quest item down there for her quest, her NPC quest. Anything up here? No. No, and I w probably wouldn't survive the fall down there. Pretty damned awesome. You can look all around here. I really like that about the game. The epitome of FromSoft, Elden Ring. Shortcut door opened. Too bad I can't see shit now. Look how dark it is in here. Aha. Soldier's crossbow. Pickle turtle neck. Junk. Oh, that was not junk. An additional stone sword key was not junk, so I'm pleased with that find. Okay. And we did open up a shortcut door. And that's it. There's nothing else here, right? If I want, I could jump down and get the quest item. But I don't remember actually where to go after that. And there's a bunch of dogs down there, too. If I remember, it's like two or three dogs. And they might mob me. And I'm not going to like that if that happens. I'm going to be very upset. I gotta give me a hint again about a bow. I'm a fucking magic user. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I kind of want this item. And then I can go right back up the elevator anyway. Alright, I'm gonna switch. Well, I'm gonna use my sword here. You gotta be kidding me. I hit the wall like three times instead of the dog. Yep, there it is. The chrysalid memento. That's for the NPC quest. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, we looped. And, uh... I think we should go back up the elevator just to get our MP back, and then we gotta figure out what direction we're actually going, right? Because I have zero MP right now, like no recharge. Let's go do that. 
Yeah, I got a sword. My left hand is the short sword you started with. It's quite weak, but uh, at least it's something for a case like that where I don't have enough magic. I don't know if I go up the tower. I can't remember which way to go now. I know I can go the outside towards the walkway, too, with those birds, but I don't know if that's the right way either. Do I have enough to level up? I'm close. All right, let me use a room. Should be enough. Uh, you're shitting me? I'm I'm short by 130. <sighs> go back down the elevator, really? I don't know which way to go here. We'll just explore for a bit. I don't know. More vigor, or do I want to go for more mine so I have more MP or FP? I'm sorry, it's FP in this game. Or do I just want to go straight intelligence again and keep scaling my intelligence damage output? Man, I don't know. Keep buffing in, do you think so? Rodney says just keep buffing in. What do you guys think on the stream? Do you guys think I should buff one or the other? What should I be buffing here? <clears throat> More damn. Rodney wants maximum damage. He really wants me to be the glass cannon in this playthrough. Ham Killer says int. No, we're not doing faith. It's not a faith build. <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah, all right. More intelligence it is. Fine. Do it. Everyone seems to be saying intelligence, so. All right. Now, from here, do I go this way to the walkway with the birds, or do I go a different way? I'm co very confused which way I'm supposed to be going here. I can't remember, honestly. I might just check this out briefly. Let's just see what this is. Well, these birds are going to be way easier. Holy shit. Again, the trade-off is I'm weak as shit. I die in one or two hits. But I'm a fucking cannon man. Look at that. They can't even do anything. And they were hard-ass enemies for a melee build, right? They're easy as shit now. This is cool. But again, I bet there's going to be things that just mow me down and destroy me. In comparison. What do we have here? We have a nice view of the starting area, right? Isn't that the starting island? Indeed it is. That's the starting area way out there. Jason just became a channel member. Thank you, Jason, for becoming a member tonight. I appreciate that. Let's add that to the total members here on the channel. We're up to 577. You know, I was hoping to hit 580 today, but... What can you do? Technical difficulties and the light kind of screwed everything up. What are you going to do? Okay. So am I supposed to be going this way or not? Right? So there's a way you can get onto the rooftops. And there's an item down there in a window. And you can go in that window. Do you see all that? So I could easily do that stuff if I wanted. If I wanted. I don't know if I want to. Is there anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's a bird, there's a bird, there's a bird, there's a bird, there's a fucking bird. <laughs> I tried to fucking hit you with a barrel. Son of a bitch, the fuck out of my face. Whew, a flight pinion. If I go back through the birds, I'll end up where I just was, says Triceratops. Oh, yeah. Smithing stone, too. This looks like a shortcut down onto that rooftop, and then you could drop there and get that item, and then you could go in that window. Not that I know what any of that is. Here's an item. A golden room. Not bad. Oh, there's a big-ass thing here. What is this? The bell? Are you supposed to ring the bell? I never did this. Where is this? Huh. There's a ladder there. See, if I drop, I can get an item. I have no idea what it is, and I'll be stuck in this building. Ladder down. So is this the way you were supposed to, a way you were supposed to come up earlier, perhaps? But well, we've already done it now. So we don't need... This is going back, I guess, right? 
Fuck it, I'm gonna see what this is. Kukri. Fucking shit, I didn't need that. What a waste. <laughs> what a fucking waste! It's alright, I can fast travel if I need to. What's in here? I can't see anything. It's a church. Oh, hello! Who the hell's this? Who are you? Ah, nice to meet you. Oh, wait a minute! The pleasure's mine. Rogier! Rogier is the name. We found him! A sorcerer. As, uh, you might have I had no clue he was here, I'm dude. I'm looking for a little something. Here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? You don't want to know, this Rogier. This bristling with tarnished hunters, <laughs> you know? They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I can't remember if he has magic for me or not. He might. So Jason just did a whopping $20 super chat and says the following. I'm sorry to interrupt bringing this up. I just want to say I saw your interview and everything else aside, I want to applaud you for sitting up to Keemstar because it takes a lot to do that and I want to show my support. Well, thank you, Jason. Uh, I have no issues standing up to anyone, including him. Um... You know, I don't really want to talk about him tonight because it seems like every time you talk about him, it just causes more problems. But thank you very much for your super chat. I really appreciate your support. And I got a $2 tip from King Gabriel. At the end of Alan Wake Remastered while listening, first time player ever. I honestly hate this game. Ridiculously repetitive and the story isn't that interesting. I guess there's an Alan Wake 2 coming. Yes. What you have to understand is when Alan Wake 1 came out, it actually was pretty innovative. Today, by, by modern standards, it's totally not. It's very repetitive and grindy and boring. But when it came out, it was pretty good. Actually, I thought the game was more boring than most. I actually complained in my review about that. But um, this next one's supposed to be different, supposedly. <clears throat> Jason said, did I, did I see all the X-Men movies? I'm pretty sure I did. Just not... I didn't see Apocalypse. And I didn't see... Whatever the last two were, I didn't see. But I saw all the ones before those. Okay. Uh, I'm here to defeat Godric. Here to challenge Godric and yes. lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, oh, he can't see it. I won't forget how it felt when I first came here huh. to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Aha! Uh -huh. Would you care to learn one? So he is a, a As trainer. A fellow tarnished, once guided by grace. <clears throat> I'd love to help you out. If it and then he goes to the round table. And he gives you items and shit there after you beat Godric. Oh yeah, this is what I want. Right? Yes, this is good. Glintstone Pebble. Right? You can use on a sword. It's an ash of war. It's Glintstone Ashes of War. Oh, interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to buy these now. But I might get these at some point. Glintstone Ashes of War. Okay. Very nice. Oh, keen. So now he's going to go to the round table, and then he has a quest line after you beat Godric. Yeah. The sorting hat's trying to figure out where to send him. Yeah, he glued the sorting hat to his head. He stole it from the fucking Hogwarts. Now I have no idea where I am. Shit. Uh... It's great I found him, but, uh... What? An unusable staircase. Where the fuck am I? Maybe I should just fast travel. I don't know where I am right now. I could use the ladder. There's a ladder out there past these two assholes. Yeah, it's past those two guys. So I could maybe sneak out and go up the ladder. Is there another way out? No, there's not. So I think I would have gotten there from another direction at one point. But I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Where I already was where I'm supposed to go. So let's head back. OK. 
Okay, good. Oh, Jane says he saw one, two, three, first class Origins Wolverine Logan. I saw all those. I definitely saw all those. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I saw X Men Apocalypse. That was the last one I saw. I think I don't think I saw. Uh, I never saw. I wait. No, no, no. I saw X Men Days of Future Past. That's the last one I saw. I never saw X Men Apocalypse. I think there was another one after that, and I never saw that one either. It wasn't Dark Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. <clears throat> okay, let's just sit again. I think I guess we're going up this tower then, huh? I guess we're going up the tower. Up this way. Oh, yeah. This was the back entrance, was it not? The back entrance came here, and this is how you actually got into inside the tower from the back way. Drawstring junk. Drawstring nonsense. So I think we go up. I think. Not positive, but we'll go up. If not, there's another way to go. Maybe going down to ground level. I don't know. Man, like just a little bit more damage, I'll insta kill these guys. Close. No way to platform across this thing. I'll fall. Oh, you gotta jump out a window here. I remember it. There's somewhere to jump out a window. Dude, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Never mind. You got this way. This is the way to go. Yep. And there's enemies out here. I remember. They come over the edge. Try to fuck you over. Hey, dummy. I'm right here. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Man, I should have, uh... I should have re-equipped and, and put an extra essence for a uh, magic flask in there. An FP flask. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies that crawl over the edge if I remember correctly. This is a confusing spot because there's ways to go. And if you drop certain ways, there's secrets and shit. But I don't know where we're supposed to be heading. Maybe this is not the right way. Kill the lazy soldiers who just stand there doing nothing. Loafing a on the job. So. Hmm. I do remember dropping down and exploring the rooftops, but I don't know if I really need to do that here or not. Golden room. I remember my first run, I did come back here a bit and jumped on these rooftops. But man, I don't remember what's on them now. I don't know if there's a reason to do it. There's an item down there. Okay, fuck it. See the item? Shit. Where's the safe way to drop? I hear birds. Tweeting birds. I guess this is the safe place. Just drop straight down. Please drop straight down. Please drop straight down. Please drop straight down. Okay. There it is. How do I get over there? I guess I gotta walk right here. Smithing Stone 2. I mean, it's not bad. Jade, you're gonna go to sleep soon? It's all good, man. Thanks for chilling today. Sorry we played so much Elden Ring. It wasn't the intention tonight, but what are you gonna do, right? At least we made the best of it. 
dogs down there? No, like rats or something. Once again, this is as much of a test video as it is a gameplay video. So if you guys are watching this on stream, let me know what you think. If you're watching this on demand on YouTube, this is my first ever split feed video where half is encoded with my GPU and half is encoded with my CPU. And I'm curious to what you guys think. If you've seen any frame rate drops and what you think of the quality. <clears throat> Looks like we can go this way. Oh, man, what is that? It looks important. But I can't fall that far. I'll die. I will definitely die if I fall that far. Got one of these assholes. Is it two? There's two of these assholes. That's not good. One is okay. Two is not good. Well, I can get it now. I don't know what the fuck it is, though. Yeah? Darren says the stream definitely feels more stable. He hasn't seen any frame drops. That's cool. I hope that's the case. I hope this makes my shoes better moving forward. I just landed on the statue's head perfectly. Nice. Oh, God. Somber Smithing Stone, level 2. That's a good find. Uh, what is this? I don't know, but I guess we're going to it, because otherwise we're stuck. I guess I'm going to use my first... Oh. Wait a minute. Oh my god, look where I am! I looped! Do I really want to use it here? Probably not. I get the feeling there's going to be an item in there I'm not going to use. I don't know what's in that, in that room. I feel like this would be a waste. What do you guys think? Is there anything in here? I don't know if I want to waste a stone sword key. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Yeah, I could go in there, but I gotta waste a key. Ah, oh, I guess I'll do it. Watch, there's gonna be nothing in here I need. I know it. This is gonna be a complete waste of my time. Uh, it won't let me attack him. It seriously wouldn't let me attack the guy. They were busy explaining to me how the stone sword key is used. Like, I don't fucking know. An iron wet blade. It's a key item? What is that for? Hawk Crest Wooden Shield. And the Misericord. Which I'll probably never use, right? Misericord. No, we didn't go back and try the Tree Sentinel. We skipped it and didn't go back to it yet. Oh, fuck. Would you come out of here? Don't stand there. Come over here. You fucking poking bitch. Stop fucking poking me, you son of a bitch. I can aim better than you. What a jerk. So I don't know what that wet blade is. I think it sounds like something for the blacksmith, right? Does it not? It sounds like a blacksmith item. There's nothing else here. This is a dead end. Duh. Well. Jade, have a good night, man. I'll see you uh, Thursday. I know you'll be here for Silent Hill. I remember, I remember a lot from the game because not only did I play it myself, but then I watched other people play it after the fact. So I remember things from multiple people's runs. But... I don't remember everything. Like, for example, I had no idea what was in that stone sword key door. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Here we go. I couldn't see the door. It's so dark. Super dark. Alright, I guess we go back to my fucking save point again. Recharge again. Right? Right? I, I still don't know which way to go. I'm still lost in this castle. I haven't found the way to go yet. Okay. 
Ham Killer says that was one if you if you jumped from a correct angle from another tower, you didn't even use the key. I think that web blade is for the blacksmith, right? <clears throat> Let's take a look at the item. They said it was a key item. Grants choice of affinity upgrade to your weapon. Oh. Iron web blade with a cipher engraved can be used as a whetstone knife. When applying an affinity using ashes of war, an additional affinity. Oh, okay. I, I, that is a key item. I don't know if I'll really use it with my build, but that is a key item for the game. Well, it's uh, 1,800. No. About 2,100 to level up. I don't think I have enough. 1,200. Oh, I do have enough. I will say goodnight to Cat and Jasper for you, Jade. I'm going to be just short. I have no luck in this shit. I'm always just short of a level. Like, literally always just short of a goddamn level. Every freaking time I play it. Int. <laughs> Int. All right. So, I, I have about 10 minutes left. Uh, does anyone know how to, how to make progress? At this point, I've gone this way. This was a dead end, right? I'm up the tower. I was walking around there. That was a dead end. Does anyone know how to actually make damn progress in this castle? Which way to go? At this point, I'm lost. And I mean, I could keep exploring and take forever. But if you guys help, obviously, that'll speed things up a little bit. Do I go back up the tower? Or do I go back down the lift now? <clears throat> Look for the hidden princess. Gee, thanks. That's a real helpful tip. I'll see you Friday, Willow. Arkham, it's all good. You don't, have to talk, you don't have to be too talkative, especially when I'm playing a game like this. It's kind of hard anyway. Uh. Oh, we already did that. I'm trying to remember what we didn't do. What didn't we do? We just did this. We didn't go this way, did we? But isn't this going backwards? This is how I came in here. This is going backwards. But no, no, no. This is the way to go. Now I'm remembering. There's a stairwell up here. There's enemies. You get the items. And then you go out that door. That's the way to go to advance. Now I'm remembering. Excuse me. Oh, shit. I hit the wall. I hit the wall three times. <laughs> it's not good to hit the wall three times. It's quite embarrassing, actually. Okay. I'm remembering where to go. Arrows. Worthless. Yeah, I need to find a way to get out there and pass all these enemies. There's like a ton of enemies out here, if I remember correctly. Like a shitload. And so I have to pass them all... You son of a fucking bitch. There's a cover of darkness. Oh, fucking shit! Ah! Okay, nah, forget the cover of darkness. Just run. Fucking run! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, he's poking my ass. Poking me in the ass. There's the giant. You gotta skip the giant. Skip him. Okay, there's a, something here, something here. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Prophecy pain. Oh, fuck, he followed me. The dog followed me too. Okay, I got the painting. Ah, fucking shit. Go, go, go. Hit the dog. He killed the dog. Oh, and he killed me. Fuck this shit. At least I got the prophecy painting. Not that I'm gonna use it. 
I'm remembering. You got to go up that staircase. I think it's a left. And in there is the way to, I think, another point of grace. And then I think you're near the boss. I think I'm remembering correctly. So what it is is, we there's multiple ways to go into the castle. If we had taken the back way, we would have come in at the bottom of here, up going up a tower. If we had come in a different, the front way, that's how we came this way, by running through the courtyard. And it makes it confusing because you, you kind of lose track of which direction you're supposed to be heading. Okay. Okay, so... We gotta go up that staircase, and I believe it's a left-hand turn over there, and I think that's where we go next. I'm pretty sure. Ready? This, fuck this. Here we go. I think it's this way. Yup, I found the point of grace. I see it. I remembered. That's sweet. Oh! These nasties. <laughs> you vile nasties. How dare you do that to my body and defile it? You horrible creatures. Anyway, we're good. We, we got here. I think that's another shortcut, by the way. Alright. So, what's next? I can't remember if we go up this or if we go this way. I think you could go either way, actually. Hmm. This is a standard new game. I started completely over from scratch. Yeah, this. I think this is the right way. I think this takes us to where we want to go. You hear that, right? Where the fuck is it? I hear it, but I don't see it. Is it below us? Oh, it's the pot room. This is dumb. This is a throwable pot shit over there. I don't need that. There's a big one there hiding. Ash of War Stormcaller. And there's another point of grace in there. Yet another one. Thank you, Darth Galbach. See you Friday. You're not going to be here Thursday, Darth Galbach? Okay, I'll see you Friday then. Remember, my day off is Wednesday. I'll be here Thursday. Just another stupid kukri I don't need. Yeah, so there's no point in fighting these pots. The only thing they guard is the, the guard is the big pot dude and then another pot item to upgrade your throwables, which I don't use. So, I'm not going to waste my time on that. So here we have another point of grace. And isn't this Godric? Oh shit, we made it to Godric. We could give it a shot tonight. We can actually give Godric a shot tonight. Sweet. Wow, that was great. That was absolutely great. We did it. Sweet. I want to give him a shot. I don't think we're going to beat him now, but we're going to give it a try. Very nice. Yes, I'll be here Thursday, uh, Darth Galbach. Yes. We're good. I have, no, I have nothing to risk. Why not fucking try? I have no, no, no problem here. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? Shit. You know what? I have to. I have to reallocate, reallocate my flasks. Yeah, Pickle Man, I'm sorry. We had a hell of a night. Let's just put it that way. We had technical issues. We had technical issues, but I fixed the issues. And now our setup's better. And I was like, I'll just do an hour of Elden Ring. So. All right. So one more time, guys. If you're watching this live, let me know how the stream looks because this is a totally new settings I'm using. By the way, there is a seed down here. I 100% remember that too, that there is a seed down there if I run down there. I don't want to even get it yet. <clears throat> um, but yes, if... Uh, 
If you like the stream quality, let me know. It's encoded with my GPU. If you're watching this video on demand on YouTube, let me know what you thought of the quality of the video. That's using my CPU and it's completely split and my CPU is only using 28%. This is amazing improvement, I feel. So this is pretty good. I just received a $22 tip from Harry, Harry Potter's Crack Pipe. He said, I had no idea that you were gonna be playing this tonight, pimp. Actually, he said PM. But uh, yeah, I didn't know either. I thought we were doing like a dragon, but we lost over an hour of stream time. So I said, why not just do an hour of Elden Ring? And we got to Godric, and we're going to take him on right now. And I don't think we're going to beat him tonight. But at least we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's an NPC down there, and I actually think that there's a, a, uh, a golden seed down there too. But I want to fight Godric. I want to fight with Godric! It's like, I want to fight Mike Tyson back in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Mighty dragon. There is a true born heir. Lend me thy strength. This guy is such a oh, bastardized me. asshole, right? Deliver me now I wonder, should I just use my, my pebbles lights. or should I actually try using the rock magic on him? Because he's big, so maybe all three rocks would hit and do giant well. chunks of damage, maybe? Hmm. It's 400 arms. Try the rocks? I'll try the rocks first. See how it works. I command thee. If I remember correctly, the second form is easier than the first. I am the lord of all that is golden. No, you're not. He's the, the bastard of the family. Everyone hates him. Everyone seriously hates his guts. Curveball? It actually hit. This spell is good, but it takes so much of my MP. Oh, I rolled way too early. Oh, that's gonna hit? That was a hit. I got lucky. Now it's going to be interesting. Because it's ranged versus ranged. So this will be very interesting. Tyler, see you later. Have a good night. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Incendio! This is over fire, bro. He's going to put the dragon on his arm. And he spits fire. I knew that was going to hit me. I was in trouble, man.
Got him! Got him on the first try. Wow. And one day, we'll return together to our home, bathed in wow. cold. That is dramatically different from a melee build. Are you shitting me? Like, it's like I'm playing, I seriously feel like I'm playing a different game. I seriously feel like this is a completely different video game than the first one. Like... <laughs> My melee build was hard as shit to, to, to fight certain enemies. This was like fucking easy mode. The great runes you received by defeating shard bearers have lost their beneficial powers. However, their power can be restored at the Divine Towers, and we found the entrance to the Divine Tower already. <clears throat> There's his great rune and remembrance of him, the grafted. So, wow. What a pussy. Look at this glitch. Ha! <laughs> How nice. So now I think if we leave and come back, don't you see the guy beating the shit out of his body over here? Yes, he's not here yet. If you leave and come back, that his servant is here. He's kicking the shit out of his dead body. I remember that. <clears throat> All right, well. Holy shit, man. That was easy peasy fucking lemon squeezy win right there. <clears throat> he barely even came after me. <clears throat> yeah, dude, this is way... It's easy. This is way easy compared to my run. My first run was super challenging, and this is like simpleton's mode. It's like, just stand there, get out of the way of the attacks, and fucking wail on him. I'm sure it's going to get harder in certain parts. If I find very magic-resistant enemies, it's probably going to be tough. But for now, this is just like a spanking. Like, I, I beat Godra on the first try. Holy shit. All right, anyway. No, I'm not using summons, lady. Absolutely not. I'm not using summons in this playthrough. That's crazy. I mean, I have I have three levels, three level, four levels. Shit, I'll put one into vigor. I'll definitely put two into intelligence, and then I think I'll put one into mind. There you go. All right, it's time to save. O Overpower Boon says I should do a side by side comparison of this versus my original playthrough. I mean, I definitely could, and it's going to be dramatically different, I'm sure. All right, let's save up, guys. That's it for now. There'll be more of this later in the week. Next move would be to go to that tower, power up the rune, so at least I have a rune to use. And uh, and now we're going to head towards Renala, right? We're going to head towards the, uh, the, the marsh there, where you get all the magic shit. That's where all the glintstone stuff is. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much. Great impromptu hour stream. Man, did we make great progress. We basically beat the whole castle. I could go back and get that golden seed, and also, uh, I guess there's an NPC over there we could save. But for the most part, man... Magic build is incredibly overpowered, and uh, hopefully you liked the quality tonight. I didn't want this. Hopefully you liked the quality tonight. Let me know what you think. The stream seemed to be of the impression the quality of the stream was very good. For those watching on demand, let me know what you thought of the quality of the video on demand, okay? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts, because this is splitting my, my CPU and GPU loads, meaning... You know, it didn't overload at all. I think I might have had a full-on stream of 60 frames. So let's see. Anyway, thank you all. See you later in the week for more. More of that coming. More insane magic build. Very nice.